All right, back this week with a crappie video. Got into some nice crappie fishing from shore here in Northwest Montana. Check it out, fishing our bobber shot rig with slip bobber and jigs. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, and what you want to see in the future. Thanks y'all, later. There we go, first crappie of the morning. Good old bobber shot. 11 inches. Not bad. Nice crappie. First one of the morning, guys. Nice little pie. Not the biggest and baddest. Not the worst either. Nice little, I don't know, probably 10 inch, 10 inch crappie. Nice one. Decent. Decent. That's how we're doing this morning. I'm doing a little, uh, oh man, he really wanted this he really wanted that bait all right once again decent little crappie get out of here crappy well i'll take this opportunity to show you guys the strategy that i have going on here i have just your regular old bobber like you get down at snappies <laughs> when you come see me then a jig head of your preference I won't, uh, I won't tell you what to use, I mean, just of your preference. You know, I wouldn't go any, any more than an eighth. I like eighth, sixteenth, one thirty-second, you know, stuff like that. It's pretty good. Then, boom, throw a little bit of something, something on. A little something nasty. Throw a little something nasty on there. And that's it, guys. Boom. And that's the crappie. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was. My bobber stood up. Here we go. Got a fish on. All right, he wants to go this way, so we'll go this way. Here we go. That fat little crappie. Like he's been picked, caught before. It's a nice guy. Real nice looking fish. He is pissed. There you go, you crazy fish. Right. We are hooked up again. Good old lava shot. Kind of modified it a little bit. Another crappie. Crappie on Chancy's crappie candy from Chancy's crappie candy from Peach Tackle. Man, he wanted that thing, didn't he? Oof. Another good looking fish. Good 11 and a half, 12 inches. Very pretty, look at that guy. Look at that beautiful fish. All right, we'll get him back in the water. All right, we'll show you what we've got going on here. I kept catching branches. So, same thing, I slip bobber, but took a split shot, put it down at the bottom. So if it snags, it'll just pull right off. Drop shot hook, well, straight shank hook. I'm tied up as a drop shot with, uh, see, uh, Chansey's Crappie Candy from Pete'sTackleShop.com. Then I put a little split shot above that because I don't want my weight, I don't want my bobber coming down slamming against the drop shot hook. So, and I got set about four or five feet. And that's what we're doing. Let's get her back out there. All right, hooked up again. There we go, that's a nice fat one there. Oh, he swallowed it. Look at that. Peach crappie candy. Man, he wanted it. Woo-wee. He swallowed the dang thing. Holy cow. Boy, I don't know if I can get that bad boy out of there. All right. That's a nice one. I think it's fat. Look at the girth on that bad boy. Let's take a look here. See what he measures. About 11 and a half. So, not bad. About the same size they always are. I don't know why. Right, look at that guy. He is fat. Be good eating right there.
There he goes. There we go. Got him that time. Son of a gun. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, he got me tangled up on something. What the hell did he get me tangled on? Got me wrapped around a tree, something. Yep. Oh, I got one more hook. So we'll give it a shot. One more shot. We're done. It's time for me. Be time for me to go by then anyway. So. All right. Let's do it real quick. Video, not video here. All right. I'm using a straight shank hook. I'm running it through. Tying it kind of like I would a drop shot. Using a triple turn water knot. I just this kind of knot. I just just kind of like that knot. Seems to hold that hook a little straighter. I'm putting it quite a ways up the line. Putting it a good two and a half, three feet up the line. All right. Now take the oh, a little lower than I wanted it this time, but that's, oh well, that's all right. But a little split shot, a big split shot in the bottom. I'm using a smaller split shot just above the hook here to keep that bobber from beating up, beating that. Uh, knot up around that hook the bar beats on it too much it'll just weaken that knot and break it right off and then good old i don't know beer gut minnow that's what i'm using duh pete's beer gut minnow pink pink beer gut all right i'm gonna give it a little pull the pull will give it make the thing lure up and back down a lot bigger movement see if that's what does it yep there you go Ooh. Oh, damn it. Got me wrapped around a branch. All right, we're going to do a bit of a modified slip bobber setup, a modified bobber shot. You can put a swivel on with a slip weight above it. That way we don't keep losing uh, bobbers. We're fishing in trees. we got to be in the dang trees to get the fish to bite. So hopefully this will keep, when we break a hook off, we won't lose our whole rig that way. But it, it should break off at the hook down below the swivel, so everything above the swivel will be safe. So slide our slip weight on, tie on our swivel with a polymer knot. Polymer is pretty simple. I'll put a link above, like always, in case you guys need a little reference. Watch a line through, take it back through, take that loop that you just made, tie a half hitch around your line and your tag. Take that loop over the swivel and tighten everything down. Polymer knot is a great, easy, great knot to tie. Very strong, very easy. All right, now we'll grab some leader. There she is. Myself a good five feet. All right, tie this up real quick with, uh, I guess we'll use a improved clinch knot since we can't do a polymer on this side of the swivel. All right. Always make sure to wet that improved clinch knot really well before you tighten it down. It'll save a lot of damage to your line. And always leave the tag a little long, just in case. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah. see my barber kind of do a weird shimmy or something. Yeah. I can set the hook. Come on, you get out of the tree. There we go, another one. This is a lot better here. A lot better crappie. Oh. Oh, and he kicked the hook right at shore. <laughs> that lost him. <laughs> there we go. That's the last one. Time for a picture and go home. All right. Nice 11 inch fish. All right. Hope you liked that video. Just a quick look at what we do to catch crappie here. Uh, this video was from shore. Uh, got into him pretty nice there for a while. We appreciate you all watching, and please leave comments. Let us know what you want to see, what you like, what you, and what you don't like. And as always, this is Jake, Montana Life Outdoors. Later.